the date for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bad Intention. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, international. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it a fight. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big kick lands. These guys throwing early. Oh, spinning back fist. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your Lands a strike there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Straight right is there. Nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Three minutes to go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So many different things right now. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Spinning back fist is there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice counter left there. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fight. He's got him hurt here.
might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Kick to the body now. Oh. Final seconds of round one. Round two next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Second round here. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Leg kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into the strike. That was a thudding leg kick. Big ball get back to range. Spinning back fist. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Oh, and that kick is blocked. How about that shin? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic... Whoa! We go. Punch over top. Ten seconds remain in round two. Ten minutes in the books. It's nothing. It's nothing. You've been knocked down before. You can pull this one out. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Beautiful. 
strike. Well, he continues to move. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to oh. chase that finish. Oh, unbelievable. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's trying to recover full guard there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Closed guard. Oh, nice job here, staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. nice oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Nice loop and punch. Beautiful leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Well, oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Straight punch lands. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting up now. Back to the feet. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new. DC, you know what it's like to get that first UFC belt and become a champion. That is his reality here tonight in New World Order here at 170 pounds. You've watched this guy over the course of his career carry this chip on his shoulder. Now you can watch him take a breath because now you've accomplished the ultimate goal of becoming the UFC champion. Congratulations.